여기에 대한민국의 국격을 높이는 사람들이 있습니다. Hello, I'm Congressman Brad Sherman from California's best named city, Sherman Oaks, with my friend uh, uh, Casey Choi, right over there. Uh, Casey has brought here to Washington two members of the uh, South Korean uh, Assembly, Kung Yup Kim and Un Ju Lee. <laughs> I want to point out, as I mentioned, the South Korean Parliament, uh, that the bill we're here to discuss, the Peace in the Korean Peninsula Act, has the support of a majority last year, and now a majority this year, now that we've reintroduced it, uh, of the members of the South Korean Parliament. But we are here today because we know and we really need to achieve peace. That is why I am proud to commemorate this anniversary to mark 70 years of the U.S.-South Korea alliance and to affirm my support for finally achieving permanent peace on the South Korean Peninsula. As a second generation of divided family, having a lot of obligation for my late dad to bury his ashes at his homeland of North Korea. And as well as the president of KPAC, Korean American Public Action Committee advocating peace on the Korean Peninsula, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude, the strong leadership and never-ending support for the peace on the Korean Peninsula. Senior House Foreign Affairs Committee member, Honorable Congressman Brad Sherman. Ladies and gentlemen, nice to meet you. 첫 번째 트랙은 종전선을 통해서 평화협정을 준비해 들어가고 이 과정에서 남북한이 서로 여기에서 느끼는 미국회에서 당당하게 한반도의 상황을 설명하고 이해시켜서 한반도 평화 법안을 설계하는 사람들. 핵무기 개발이 필요하지 않도록. Uh, thank you for traveling over from Korea to give us uh, the real understanding of what things are like on the ground because it's so important that we don't tell you what you need to do, but we work together as partners. Drawing upon your expertise. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 우리의 소원은 우리의 미주민주 참여 포럼 KPAC